what is up welcome back to the channel it's right in the middle of garage sale season which means i haven't been to very many thrift stores but my lucky charm is off work today and that's what she wanted to do so i'm going to go look for items that i can flip online for a profit she's probably going to find better items to flip online for a profit that's usually what happens so stay tuned and let's find out As far as reselling goes, this thrift store kind of let us down, but Kayla did find a new coffee mug for personal use and also this interesting homemade dress that I think is going to be a future Raggedy Ann Halloween costume. So we just pulled up to this Goodwill and saw this bicycle sitting out here. How cool is that with the back seat on it? I tried to talk Kayla into buying it and she could like ride on the back with me, but uh, you can see she's not around, so that's a no-go pretty cool do you find cars need some help with your swing so if you can find the momentous golf club like that 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 goes to it's mm -hmm. actually worth really good money it sells quick never seen a momentous putter if you can find a club, it sells really good. The VHS, not so much. Ah, don't worry. Oh, here we go. See, this is what you need. I know how you are. You'll be drinking those white claws and stuff. We gotta check you out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Funny. Random pair of hokas. Those are roached. No good. I saw this thing, Margarita Oasis. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the Margaritaville one that actually sells for really good money, but it's a $60 one and they want 20 for it so no good yeah all right so this is one of those things that I've been looking for forever I've never actually found them how much you think they sell for what's your guess 399 at Goodwill 45 higher 80 60 yeah, 60 something yeah so for 399 I'm definitely gonna grab this I found this thing a few minutes ago and I have no idea what it is it says Heat with proper application. Keep away from boiling water. Clean gently to preserve coffee pot. So something to do with coffee. I was gonna buy it just to see if I could figure it out with just five bucks. Mm. Uh, but I Google this, it didn't come up with anything, so I don't know. You guys leave me a comment, let me know. Okay. Another one. Another one. Alright, what you got? They were nesting dolls. Are they all in there? I don't know. I know nothing about them. What's your guess? Are they worth something or no? No clue. How much they want for them? A dollar ninety nine. Is there anything? I'm not sure I can translate that. Oh look. Oh wow, They're it's a little tiny here. tiny. Wow. Let's get it. Dollar ninety nine? Oh, cool. Why not? Kind of cool. That's definitely vintage. Made in USA, Paris Island Marines. The shirt's only a dollar fifty, and that's like mint. I'm gonna try it out. So we got a few things: the Marines vintage shirt, the Wii game, the nesting dolls. How much do you think those nesting dolls are worth? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. They might be worth a million. You never know. But who knew the star of the show would be scrubbing bubbles? I've never actually found these before. Looks like the Glade ones sell for around 60 for the two pack. A four piece, not too bad. I do have to uh, look up the regulations on shipping liquid. Seems like they have to go ground or something. I'm not really sure, but either way, that's a pretty good find. So we've been riding along and Kayla's been researching the nesting dolls and I don't think we have any worth anything, maybe 10 or 12 bucks, but there are some that are worth some really good money. Like this one's got 20 in one for $1,200. That's crazy. It'd be nice to find piece. that one. Is it 18 for yeah. 3.95. There's a bunch of them. There was some like, yeah, the New York Yankees sold for best offer on 400. Some pretty cool stuff. So be on the lookout for some Russian nesting dolls. Definitely not all of them though. So we had to park at the back of this thrift store. The deals are so good they got the police coming. Apparently, I don't know. We found something. Yeah, that too. So Kayla just said, "What does perlator mean?" That's a, like an oil filter, but this is a very, very old Detroit vintage 
Like oh, a racing jacket. Cool. All right. Wow. Turn it back. Hold it real quick. Let me look at that tag. Great Lakes jacket, Detroit. I mean, that is that's a buy. Gotta be in great condition. Somebody's gonna want that. I don't like the bat. Yeah, yeah. It's really small. It says medium. Does it have any other tags in the inside? Yeah. Try it on. Well, let's let see zipper. Great, Lakes, Great Lakes, jacket. Lakes jacket, Detroit. Zip, zipper's talon, so that's really old. Okay. All right, Kayla, with the cool find of the day, the vintage Pure Later racing jacket. And I did look up the Great Lakes Jacket Company. There was some comps, some selling anywhere from 20 to 150. Look at that cool zipper. Talon zipper, so you know, oh, it's old. In really good condition, too, for its age, for sure. I'm thinking we'll get 40, 50 bucks for that. It's been four, not too bad. Looks like Goodwill's expanding. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. It's missing a tag. Oh, it's got a hole in the two up top. That would have been really cool. Double sided too with Tigger. Uh, unfortunately, got a hole in it. <laughs> what did you just say? I said everybody needs a musical blowing rabbit. Bubble blowing. Bubble rabbit. blowing. Uh, look him up. Let me wear something. I have no clue. We'll see if he's even in here. Okay, so real quick, probably my biggest regret of the day was not getting this musical bubble blowing rabbit. Not because it had a huge resale value, but because, I mean, how cool is this thing? Definitely could have had the $4 worth of fun that they were asking for it. So I got the shirt and the hat at the regular Goodwill. Gonna walk into the bins. It is almost two o'clock and they've had the same stuff in here since 10 a.m. when they first opened up. They don't rotate bins. You never know. All right, so this is kind of crazy. This, it doesn't look like it's in good condition, but this is a poster from the Piccolo Spoleto Festival, which is a local festival, arts festival, down in Charleston, South Carolina. And this one's actually autographed by the artist. It says, Love Sally, Sally Hughes Smith. And it's the official image by Sally Hughes Smith. Is somebody asking $149 for one of these that's not signed? And who knows? Might be worth a shot, especially since it's signed. I have to take it out of this frame because it's definitely be back and scratched. But the see if it's, it's going to be here. Who knows? All right, Kayla. So apparently, artwork at Goodwill is only, or the bins is only a dollar, and today's half price day, so this was only fifty cent. Wow. So is that a good buy, a questionable buy? What you think? I think for fifty cents, it's worth it. Yeah. I mean, there's one listing that's not signed for 149. Doesn't really mean anything because none have sold, but. I mean, that's signed. It's love, love to Ann and Bachman. Love Sally. But it's signed by the artist. I don't know. I feel like it's worth a shot for 50 cents. All right, last stop of the day. We've got to make it a quick one because the kids are almost out of school. Hope we find some better stuff than we have. Yeah. Although the scrub on bubbles was really pretty cool. Yeah, that was Kayla says, look how cute the little Carhartt baby overalls are. And then this gym, it's not such a gym because it's got a stain on it, but I bet it would still sell. I think you it's get car stain out. For $5.75, I think it'd be worth it. What do you think? I can try it. Not bad. Must be Carhartt day up in here. Just found this shirt. It's like a denim, but not really a denim. Just a blue car shirt, extra large, good size. 475. Yeah, we'll take it. Alright, 
so I just saw this thing and I have sold these before. I only want five ninety nine for them. It's like homeschool chemistry lab kits. I think those are like seventy bucks on their website. So I think I can get thirty five or forty on eBay. And there's three of them, so that's only one listing. It's pretty good. So back home from thrifting and it's actually a couple of days later and I'm working on getting the stain out of this Carolina logo on this Carhartt vest. It's just a little brown stain right there. It honestly looks like coffee. It may just wash right out, but I'm gonna use this OxyClean Max Force gel stick. Use these things all the time. They work wonders. But overall, I think it was a successful trip. Definitely found some items that we could flip online for a profit. Also got to spend time together, which is always a lot of fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.